Finally, the day has finally came, and we are gonna be getting the great news of Blade and Sorcery Nomad 1.0. Hello there everyone, welcome back. My name's HN, and today we are gonna be talking about the 1.0 release of Blade and Sorcery Nomad, which a lot of Quest players who unfortunately can't afford a PC have been waiting for. We are now going to be getting very borderline near to the finish of Blade and Sorcery Nomad. Have a little look at these new clips released by the developers. So that is right folks, we are going to be getting Citadel 4 1.0 in Nomad. This is very exciting as this map has been the one single thing apart from the big update itself that we have not had in Nomad <clears throat> at all whatsoever. We've been deprived of it while PC has had the privilege of having this map. It's taken them a while but they have now finally been able to get Citadel ported over which will be moved with the release of 1.0. The game will now also be, when it is fully released, $39.99 on the Quest Store as it will be the full game finally released onto the store. Including that as well, it won't just be the few little changes of some features missing in Nomad. This will also include all of the Dalgarian dungeons that you do see in the multiplayer PC VR. These have all been ported over perfectly by the team of Blade Sorcery, so that you, the Nomad players, can also go and play these as well. So after patiently waiting and been dying for the release update, apart from Citadel soon coming over which will be ported with the 1.0, graphics have been immensely updated with the Nomad update. From U12 to U1 they have done their absolute astonishing best to make it look as smooth and as crisp as possible. So then, close together with the comparison of PC, we should begin, if not the similar experience. As you can see, it is getting hugely updated graphic-wise, which I'm really happy to see finally happen with the Nomad version, as it has always been just a little bit more downgraded than the PC version, which has always been sad to see, but now finally, graphics-wise, update-wise, content choice, it's gonna be at that same standard as PC VR, which I think is pretty justified for $39.99 with the price increase and with the content that we're getting, and obviously playing it already on PC VR, knowing what it's going to be expected to be like on Nomad, it's going to be a pretty good choice of where they are heading with this. And not only that, we will be updated to the point of 1.04, so the AI update as well will also be included with this Nomad update. Right now, we do not have an official release date of when this is specifically dropping. We know what the contents of this update will finally include now, but until then, I will keep you guys up to date. 